my family, I'm the sixth generation. Well, Daniel fought in the War of 1812, and when the war was over with, they didn't have any money to pay their soldiers, so they paid them in land, and everything west of the Susquehanna River was wilderness. So well, Daniel decided where he wanted to square a mile of ground, and that's what we've been here ever since. And my grandfather had a steam-powered sawmill and cut logs and cleared off this whole valley that had passed. And every four or five years, we just have to rebuild the whole fence. I've, it looked like the Allegheny River down here. Flood water. I mean, this is where I'm standing here now. We used to be, I've seen it a foot deep. It, just all water. It's amazing. So we decided that we were going to plant these pines. We are going to plant them in the floodplain and help the stream. This is a site that we did a riparian project in 2004 with Titusville High School. Um, we put in about 1,200 trees and shrubs. Uh, the, the farm had uh, used this previously as pasture, uh, and there was no vegetation really here except for some multiflora rose. Uh, and one of the teachers that we worked with saw the site, and uh, Vern gave us permission to, to put in the trees and shrubs here and do the right prior and planting. Uh, this particular site was vulnerable because of past practices, uh, had been farmed right up to the edge of the stream uh, with very little vegetation. Uh, we were getting a lot of erosion, uh, soil and sediment movement throughout, um, and because it feeds into Thompson Run, which is a high quality trout stream, um, we wanted to improve the water quality. The water was extremely warm without a lot of um, uh, biological diversity to it, so we wanted to try and improve that by doing a tree planting. So once we meet with the landowner, find out what they're looking for, we do a site evaluation, uh, how big a planting, how many acres, stream footage, uh, how long it's going to be, and figure out what size planting, how many trees and shrubs. Once we get that information, we try and tailor that planting to the size of the school whether we need one school or two schools, depending on the number of students that we have, so that we can make sure we get a complete project. The students will come out typically from around nine o'clock until around two, and it's amazing what they can get done in that time frame. Um, typically they can get anywhere between 400 and 1200 trees and shrubs in the ground in that five hour period. Um, and it, it's amazing to see the transformation where you go from this blank slate uh, of a stream with no vegetation on it and when they leave to see all the tree tubes and the seedlings planted. So this planting site uh, was put in in 2004. So it's been almost 12 years since the trees went in. When we first got to the stream, it was a mostly a muddy bottom stream, although it's supposed to be a stony bottom stream. In that 12 years, we've seen the sinuosity come back to the stream. It wasn't a straight shot, but it was pretty close. And if you look, you can see that it, it really winds around. And with the trees and shrubs in here, uh, just some phenomenal growth for 12 years uh, in here. We've got, we've got white pine that are 20, 25 feet tall. Uh, the water typically from this little tributary to Thompson Run, again, which is a high quality trout stream, typically overflowed its banks, a lot of sediment movement, uh, a lot of sediment flow down into that stream, not to mention the water temperature. And of course, water temperature is, is crucial to the biology of the stream. Uh, because this, this little tributary moved through a denuded area, the water temp temperature was quite high. Uh, now we see the water temperature coming down and we've got better quality water moving into Thompson Run. 
For me, it's really about the students and seeing them come out. Uh, we've had over 5,000 students uh, over the years come out to our projects. And watching them go from not knowing how to plant a tree and really knowing much about what's going on with, with streams and stream biology. And by the time they leave at the end of the day, learning what species are going in and why, and, and why it's important to the stream. Um, just seeing that knowledge and knowing that no matter where they go in life, hopefully they're gonna remember that as part of their high school career and at least think about that at some point. Um, because we've been doing this for 16 years, we've actually started to get children of students that originally did this. So second generation kids that are out doing plantings now, telling us, my mom did this with you 16 years ago and she still talks about it. Uh, so th that's been rewarding as well. Makes us feel a little old, but then we realize how long we've been doing this and what an impact that we're having.